Good afternoon and welcome to the PRAC in which we measure the speed of a wave on a stretched length of string like this that you see in front of you. We're going to use two methods to determine the speed of the wave on the string. First of all, method one where we're going to use the relationship where the speed is equal to the frequency times the wavelength of the wave on the string. And in the second method we're going to use the relationship where the speed is equal to the square root of the tension in the string divided by the mass per unit length of the string. In the first method, we're going to take a family of readings, a family of frequencies and wavelengths. And because we're going to have a family of frequencies and wavelengths, we're going to be able to calculate the speed. And we'll be able to do a type A evaluation of uncertainty. Whereas in the second case, we're only going to have one reading of the tension and one reading of the mass per unit length. And because you have only one reading, you'll do a type B analysis of the uncertainty over here. At the end of the experiment, you're going to have two results for the speed, and you're going to do a comparison of those two. To apply method one, we have here a length of stretched string. It's being stretched by the mass hanging over the pulley over there. And here we have an actuator, and this actuator applies a constant displacement. In other words, puts continuous train of pulses onto the string. And what is actually happening is the pulse runs down to the end of the boundary point and runs back. And if you get the frequency just right, you get what's known as a standing wave. You can see here that the node over there and there's a node over here. Measuring the distance between these two, I can determine the wavelength and I can read the frequency off on the function generator. And in this way, I can collect a family of readings of frequency and wavelength. These will be used to determine the speed of the wave. When you do method two, you measure the tension in the string by measuring the mass of the weight that was used to tension the string on a triple beam balance like this. And then you've been given the gravitational acceleration g, so you can calculate the tension in the string. The second thing you've got to do here is you'll see that there are lengths of string like this. This is the same type of string that's used in the experiment in the lab. You need to determine the length of the string as well as the mass of the string, once again, using the triple beam balance like this. And remember that when you are doing these measurements, you're doing a type B analysis of uncertainty.